One of the most common ways people blend into the background with their creative ventures is because they play it safe and they don't break the rules. Some rules are meant to be broken, so the ones that aren't there for our safety, they're meant to be broken to help us expand and to help us learn and to help us progress in the world. So the ones that are there just as a guideline, they should always be broken by the risk takers. And this is something that I'm writing about in the first chapter of the creativity and wellness journal. So this is don't be afraid to break the rules. So why should we break the rules? What is in it for us, you know? Um, and what will it gain us? It will gain us noticeability. It will gain us notoriety. You'll be an inspiration to others. You'll be considered to be a brave risk taker. You'll experience so many fun things. There are so many opportunities that you're missing by not being confident and by not seizing these opportunities as, as soon as you can. You'll learn faster because you'll make mistakes and the faster you make mistakes, the faster you can learn from them. You'll become stronger as a person and you'll be more emotionally mature. So, of course, everybody wonders how you do it. So how do you actually do this? How do you, how do you not be afraid to break the rules? And the answer is, when someone tells you not to do something because of the risks, like doing a massive painting or starting a community project or investing money into a project, just remind them that nobody made anything of themselves by copying other people. Name me one person that made something of themselves by copying anybody else. You can't duplicate and then get the same results as somebody that really tried to organically create this. So do you want to be a sheep? Afraid of making mistakes? Or afraid of being colourful? Or afraid of wearing a cool outfit outside? No, out of the out of the sheer worry that other more sad and closed minded people would judge you. That's not a very pleasant way to live your life. Just think to yourself, what kind of life is that to live? So breaking the mould opens us up to so many opportunities and so many friendships and business ventures and fame and success and genuine happiness. So rather than forming your entire personality, off of internet memes and trends and pop culture fads, create yourself an image that will last and make you happy. Because if you use inspiration from only your inner self and nothing else, that's what you should be doing. Before you ask someone, does this suit me? If you're in the shop or if you're with your friends or if you're gonna buy something online, and if you find yourself asking them, does this suit me? Before you do that, think, does it make me happy? Does it suit me? Does it suit my personality? Does it suit my case? So that is the most important thing. And you need to think, why am I afraid to break the rules? Because you'll get punished. Yeah, okay. If it's rules that are keeping you and others safe. If it's a rule that's trying to make you conform. If it's a rule to try and box you in. Or if it's a rule so that you all look the same. Do what makes you happy. And if what makes you happy is outside of those boundaries, then I think it's time for you to sit down, maybe write some stuff down, and to really think about why you would listen to them and what would happen if you didn't listen to them. Because I'm thinking right now that there are not many consequences for wearing what you want or for dressing in a certain style or doing something that makes you happy that not necessarily other people agree with. Thank you. This has been two pages from the Creativity and Wellness Journal. There are 10 chapters in the journal that you read at the beginning to prepare you for journaling and for everything else. So there are 10 chapters at the beginning. If you buy the Creativity and Wellness Planner, you get that chapter. So why should you be afraid to break the rules? You shouldn't, it's your life. If you do things that make other people unhappy, as long as you're not directly harming them, you're completely fine, sis or bro or bris. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow where I'm going to be reading chapter two, which is don't let one opinion dishearten you. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.